Hey, Joe, what's up? You had that album when you were a kid. It had Monster Mash, that meatball song, One-Eyed, One-Horn, Flying Purple People Eater. A lot of songs like that. John Jacob, Jingleheimer, Schmidt. Um, uh, oh, my God. There were so many other ones. Uh, it ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. How the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? And then there's... Um, does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bed post overnight? All of those things. Yeah. We used to live, listen to that, that, those songs over and over and over again. And they're still in my brain after all this time. Oh, really? It reset me all the way out here? Well, that sucks, but okay. I know where to go. See, I see, 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 see. <laughs> Hi, gang. This is Aloy. She's on a quest. We're going to uh, do a main story quest to kick off the stream today. We're going into the greenhouse to search for Demeter, a piece of software that'll help us save the world. Yes, the witch doctor. I was in, on there as well. Songs that tickle your funny bone. Uh, we met a new tribe. There's a girl in here. I think her name is like Alva. And she's part of the Quen, which seems to be from across the Pacific Ocean. They were able to somehow discern that there is another continent over here. And that continent was likely hold a lot of answers for them. So Alva and her people like... Were, Jesus, she's scary. So this is Alva. Alva, yeah. Alva, they were able to figure out how to cross the Pacific Ocean, which seems to be something that Aloy should probably react to a bit more. Like, you came across the ocean? How did you manage that? I want to see their ships. But their, her people don't sound too friendly, right? They sound like they guard knowledge from even each other. And only certain people will have the privilege to have certain information. So they do not seem to be like the the most utopian of societies. That's one way to get down here. Okay. Okay. Check the map. I think it's this way, and then this way, and then scrabbling a bit, and then in here, and then up here, and then in here, and then down here, and over here. <laughs> it's pretty far getting back in here. Uh, is this a dead end? Must be this way. Thanks for the earworm. I know. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, yeah feels this like feels like a tomb remember. down here. All right, climb up. It's weird. You go through all these tunnels down here, and then you end up outside again. But you're still kind of in you're like we're not like them or try to sneak past this is not connected to the outside world really peccary delicious peccary
Hi, bleeding fish. Come on, you can, you can do this. Go. I have faith in you. Right. They really make you travel, huh? You believe how far this is? This will break my fall. All right. Is this where we were? I think this is where we were. Close. You're leaving? What? Not leaving. It's like yelling at me. Oh, ancient valuables chests. Hell yeah. Not worth it. I'm stuck here forever now. Okay. Ow. Okay. All right. They were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the Time of Ashes? Time of Ashes? Looks like it. Don't make me climb up there. Uh, this pipe looks like it goes all the way to the surface. I think we're under the proving grounds. Maybe it connects the rig to the tower. Best not to linger here long, then. Not lingering. I'm, I'm going. So, I never asked. Uh, are you from around here? <laughs> no, I'm not. I, um, spent most of my life in a place far in the east. Oh, we've both traveled a long way, then. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's kind of strange that we're not engaging her more on that uh, topic of crossing the ocean. I'm really curious how that happened. Cold and damp down here. You're not a fan of what they did with the camera during her little crouch tunnel walks? This is it. I, um... I think you notice things more than I do. Okay. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. Okay. Oh, when it gets very zoomed in like that? I my only guess is why they do that is otherwise it would it would become first person in that segment. Yeah. All right, here's a code fragment again, Everett code. Um, this looks like more poetry. And if I'm not mistaken, the person who um, programmed Demeter, like way back, the ancients, she was very into poetry. And that's why the metal flowers that you see in the world even in the first game, when you actually go up to them, they have poetry, like, programmed into them. Which is a cool little detail. Like, you start finding the metal flowers in the first game. That complex should be Testation Ivy. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. Hey, Heliquin. You will find them, um... Like in the first game and i remember being confused by them like are these riddles like what is it and just it's just like it's just poetry put into those uh artifacts it's so still it is yeah. very still too still keep your guard up i'm gonna go mess with this one make sure it's dead It is dead. We're gonna have a fight on the way out. That's what this arena is. This is the way out fight place. <laughs> Whoa! Or, or not? It's one of those machines. It's the bat. Okay. It can turn invisible. It can turn We're invisible. Have to take it out to get into the test station. It's a dread wing. All right, brand new robot. 
A large and powerful flying combat machine. Its attacks include a range of disruptive attacks, making it a dangerous and tenacious enemy. Weak versus fire. Detachable. What is that thing? The antenna? Oh, it can't recall, um... It can't call reinforcements with that, huh? Okay, that's not great. That's a lot of mines. No oh, ammo. All right, now he's on fire. Now let's make you explode. over there what is she doing we will, we will prevail she's saying i don't know i guess she's trying to improve morale yeah this thing's pretty nasty Radio blast! I don't think he cared. I'm stuck on a rock. Well, you helped. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. There was a metal flower on its corpse, and she said something about, is that how they've been distributed? Maybe these are the things that plant the metal flowers? Maybe. Interesting. Yes. A weapon you had needed Dreadwing parts to upgrade here. before I had seen one. Kept there wondering what kind of machines. animal it ended up being. Oh, that's awesome. What you done? Is there an extended leap roll upgrade like in Horizon Zero Dawn? I have no idea. Where would that even be? Extended leap roll? I don't know. Does anybody know? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I could be wrong. There's no way for me to know unless I actually moused over or controlled over every single one. Yeah, but I don't remember seeing one. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Yes, that's true. She has a subpar focus. Foci. Focuses. Oh. That's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. Oh, great. Underwater. And now we got our breathing apparatus. I must have faith. I walk with the ancestors. We shall find what we seek. 
All right, so this is called Feeding the World, but you are supposed to understand the trick once it's done, when the curtain pulls back to reveal the mirrors, yet I still have no idea how we achieve this act of scientific conjuring. It's not just the speed with which the prog projects have come together, or the stability of the results, despite the complexity of the bioengineering. It isn't even the huge variety of crops that can now be made... Um, that can now be made more heat, drought, and disease resistant. It is simple fact that all these results are tangible. No announcements in scientific journals, no celebrating predictions born from simulations. Our research has become manifest in physical artifacts. When a dream took root in an abandoned industrial site four years ago, now there stands row upon row of automated FAS farming units, each of which can conduct gene manipulation in the field, the actual field, these robots analyze soil composition, light intensity, temperature, wind speed, and a hundred other factors. But I wouldn't give to be a kid again who literally just woke up right now at 12.30. I know. I woke him up a half hour ago. Oh, man. I know. Well, Lazy I wouldn't kid. Give. So they were marveling during in that uh, codex about how fast they've been able to do things. So well, much is still hidden from my focus. if you have the greatest minds in the world working together on a goal with an awesome leader and unlimited funding and the survival of the human race is at stake, you can accomplish a lot. What you sniffing? That was in our garbage. That literally this concept is still operational. Onto our yawn. Our yawn. Our, you said yawn. I did say, yes. It fell onto our yawn. <laughs> Horizon Zero Yawn. Gotta get the valuables first. It's kind of funny. We just dismissed these things as a video game, but like, here's a brand new character that just met us, and the first thing she sees me do is break into this lab and like loot a chest of all of its valuables. Another log. She wouldn't think too highly of me, would she? work and cobble came through on a way to destroy them downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within oh we need that it's too late the latest projections from u.s robot command have swarm reproduction outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375 percent not even close. I guess we deserve this. I deserve it for what I made here. This will be my last log before evacuation. That's sad. We worked so hard and it wasn't enough. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. The vine cutter. We should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module onto my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. Bleeding fish crossing the ocean horizon. I can't even imagine the scary mon- yeah, I know, there's gonna be some insane machines. Because we we found the- what is it called? The tide caller? I have- I we we, we have one. What is that thing called? This thing. Tide Ripper. I mean, this thing alone. But yeah, there's got to be ones based on sharks and whales and other other uh, sea creatures. Probably really nasty. Nessie. The, the guitar here it keeps playing every once in a while it keeps me it makes me think of the beginning of uh what is that a brian adams song to really love a woman you gotta know her deep inside you ever thought i don't know the words feel every dream i keep hearing it family oh you too it's funny. It's like the beginning of that song, the the, the guitar. Marjane Nafisi has resigned. 
from Marjane's letter. It is with regret that I resign. I share that regret, Marjane. You served an excellent deputy, but no single person is above the team or the project. I came to create life, not destroy it. After all we've achieved together, I do not expect such a lack of vision. Yes, our research has shifted direction, but biomass conversion is no different than burning wood in a stove or distilling ethanol from molasses. It is a method to release solar energy that was captured organically. Yes, there are military applications for this tech, but that does not mean there is a logical moral argument against biomass conversion itself. To say, to say so is emotional petulance, plain and simple. For Nafisi to end her letter with a quotation made, made it a direct attack, childish. Disappointing, personal. Any sadness I might have had uh, with her departure left me in that moment. I wish her luck with whatever position she's able to find, but the greenhouse will continue on all the stronger now that it is free from such narrow thinking. I'll sum up another quote, one better suited to the circumstance. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. Yeah, but who wrote that? Oh, Tala Aquino, personal law. That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. That's it there. That's not how you do it. You just open it. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you. You doubt she felt the same toward the end? Well, I think the person who wrote that log right there was the same person that was sitting in the chair, all despondent about failing. We can use the line to get down. Like, uh, right. Easy. <laughs> it's fine. All right, where's the big bag machines? Uh, made it. But we'd better make haste. <laughs> After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. Barbarians. They could be here any time. Right. All right, here we go. I need. I needed this table. I would never have been able to craft it without this table. Um. So we're making a vine cutter. Now I could actually go anywhere in the game. I can, nothing's gonna stop me anymore. We have all the tools. Oh my God, maybe. Now what? Now we get to that data core. Return to the data core. Yeah, you're gonna let me do that. <gasps> Pack a ray! That was a warning shot. What kind of explodies are these? Blaze drums. Okay. Get out, it's close in time. Finish your bloody video games. Here we go. We can now get rid of the vines. Use melee attacks to open a metal flower. Flowers blooming. Let's see if the software works. Install. That's how, that's some good that's You're some good software. Door's clear now. The data core looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. Time to make the donuts. Demeter? It's time to go home. You're coming Goodbye. home. Coming See home. Morning. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. 
I got it. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. I gotta bring home this one. You were right. How to make fidget spinners. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about... Oh, no, Jesus. Alpha, These are the Quinn? Hold your fire. By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come. Look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers. Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Do not shoot me. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An ancestor reborn. She knows who she is, wow. It was like, I'll take it. Diviner. We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You should you play heard along. The diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I like that the tribe that had to sail across the ocean has the most metal in their armor. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past and about Sobek, I guess, but they're- Please, I must know what you said before about working towards the same goal. How long will it take? Uh. I don't know, a few months. Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Shush! Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Well, it wouldn't go well for them, because I'd stop them forcefully with weapons. Makes you wonder how bad things are in Asia in this world. It, they all came the all the way here, so pretty bad. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway, but I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Yeah, do you have a list of them? Because I don't know which ones I've been to and which ones I haven't to. Haven't been to. Okay, more poetry. But we did it, gang. Yeah, now that I can like breathe underwater and stuff, like, does it tell me? Okay, that one drowned gullet completed. But like, if I go all the way back to this first zone, how do I tell? So I guess this is not completed? I have all the subordinate functions now, I do, yeah. For the first three. The ones I know about. All right, let's, uh... 
I did this last night, gang. I got this um, tall neck. That took over an hour to figure out how to climb up all of these tree houses and unlock the different like shortcuts in case you fall and then make it all the way around to where you can oh my god it took forever i was never so thankful that i wasn't streaming i was like i'm so glad i'm not streaming this i fell so many times right as the tall neck was was coming and i had to start over i was mad Ancient compartment. That's one way to do it. I didn't know you, you don't have to pry those open. You can just smack them. I like that. That's better. Is that the one you can just glide to from a clip? I don't know. I don't want to know about that. It was probably that one but now you know what you missed a very intricate well thought out frustrating as hell jumping puzzle yeah you did you missed out on it so uh, you still did the whole thing properly though for funsies you and i have different perceptions about what funsies are I do need a new, uh, I need a mount. I need a new mount. There we go. New mount acquired. If I can get him to go straight, it would be amazing. Yeah, this is it here. This is the jumping puzzle. Like, so you can you can see all of these different places that have things up there, but these ladders, you have to actually knock these ladders down and that unlocks different checkpoints and you literally have to st i think you start like over here and you have to climb around here jump on the tall neck have it ride you over to here then you jump off then you unlock more checkpoints somehow get down here and then this is where you can like jump and get to it like over here it was like ridiculous And I missed the jump so many times and how to just, and like when you miss a jump, let's say I'm here, right? And I miss the jump. You have to wait for that slow ass giraffe to go all the way back around to try again. I even had Azaria come over. I'm like, you try it. She did it in like one jump. It's great. <laughs> Peanut gallery over here. Um, Giraffe. Paul next are giraffes. Yes. 100%. It's a big ass giraffe. What? Totally giraffe.
No one can see you standing like a superhero. <laughs> I did that just for you. She comes into the room like this. But no one can see that. Oh no! Oh no, what? Crash. What? Crash on my oh. I'm sorry. It is my fault. You built your Lego tall neck last Friday. It is majestic. It is majestic. All right, let's go teleportate all the way back to our base and check in with our friends. You didn't see the Lego tall necks, Azaria? Yes, you did. Come on. How much? Too much. Budget talk. Remember we had a budget talk? Still have a gift card. What's this? Oh, you're gonna make no. You're gonna make me. See, uh, I see you, champion. No, no, no. You always talk to me about other things you want me to do. The campfire. To I know, Kai's. I know, but I can't get it to work. It's this one here? Yeah, I don't know. I can't ever go to the right one. In fact, I don't want to anymore. I want to go to the wrong ones and make people annoyed. I want to be just an obnoxious butthole now. It frustrates me when you when you go to base and you travel there, it doesn't immediately like put you inside. seen one of my machine strike pieces around like worse than that not only does it not put you inside it puts you on the further away one like why maybe you left it there when you I do that, all that ale. i'm crazy oh hope it didn't get stained all right so everybody's got new dialogue everybody everybody all right aaron what's going on looks like you got what you wanted yeah it's almost time to go after Hephaestus. finally we get to rock and roll. Yeah, at least that's that's how the old ones said it, I, I think. Why not just choose the other one when you teleport? Well, I don't think about it. And isn't it free to go right to the base? But more the first. More because I don't think of it. I go, oh, I want to go to the base and I click. And not until I show up do I realize, oh, yeah, I should have went to the other thing. Yeah. Yeah, I just buy tons of the fast travel stuff so I can just teleport like I do in Elden Ring. <laughs> I don't want to ever be restricted. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? Well, we all do. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. Yeah, I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Just give it time. Okay, let's play strike. Um, Azari, it's your gift card. You do what you want. I should get going. I say hi to Gaia for me. We do need more space to display geeky stuff and knickknacks somehow. We need to build a room. Aloy, is that what I think it is? Just need to merge it with Gaia, and she'll have enough power to handle Hephaestus. Good news. 
So, what can I do for you? Make me a sandwich? I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Uh-oh. Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land guards, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get a Festus, that's definitely a possibility. Yeah? That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? <laughs> what makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? It's a good well, point. If she kills me next time, it's on you. I love that line. What makes you think I know anything about any of this? That's so perfect because Aloy is confident in what she needs to do and in saving the world and all these highly technical things. But relationships? What makes you think that I know anything about this? Better get this to Gaia. It's great. You did it, Aloy. Let's hold off on the ale till it's over and done with. I'll let Aaron know. You wish the lens post stuck around a few days instead of being gone so fast. I, I do too. I wish I wish Patreon would do more with the the lens app or change.